The housing crisis in Massachusetts is staggering. Substandard housing is classified as unsafe, overcrowded, rodent infestation, unsafe electrical wiring. It's at epidemic proportions nationally, and sadly in Massachusetts, in the Commonwealth, we are quickly outpacing other equally sized cities in the inventory of affordable housing. Seven years ago, we became homeless. I went to a homeless shelter with my three children in Fall River, because that's the only place they could place us other than separating my family. I sold everything in, that was in storage, enough to put first, last, and security down on an apartment. It was two floors, but the third floor was an attic that they made into a studio or apartment. My rent went up to almost $1,500 a month, and then you add utilities on top of that. Then you add your cell phones. You can't live without a cell phone. Internet. I need internet because the children need internet for um, schoolwork. Food, you know, because little by little my assistance was dropping off because I was progressing as an independent person again. And I can remember saying to my, my very close friends, how much longer am I going to be able to hold on like this? So at that time, all we could afford was the one studio with us sharing living space. And essentially that was our whole life, was him living in a room with me. It was work all the time. I had maxed out my position. There wasn't really anywhere else for me to go, but it was the best that I could do at the time. There's not really a whole lot of ways to get ahead and it can be very discouraging. And everybody should be able to have a decent place to live. One of the best things about Habitat is our motto, we do not give a handout, we give a hand up. We are about empowerment. Here's how our program works. First, we identify families in need and prepare them to be successful homeowners. Our hardworking families serve the community in many capacities. They may be your child's school bus drivers, a custodian, or a nursing aide. Each one is well deserving and just needs a hand up out of the cycle of living from paycheck to paycheck. Next, we partner with the community to acquire land through donations from municipalities, developers, and individuals. As a charity, we rely 100% on the generosity of donors to make our homes possible. We then look for donations of cash and building materials to construct our homes. Once the funds are raised, we strap on our work boots and hard hats and start building. We mobilize volunteers to build homes alongside of our partner families, nail by nail, wall by wall. Habitat volunteers come from all walks of life, but are all joined by a passion to serve families. Some have never picked up a tool in their life. Others are professional tradespeople. There is a place for every individual, community or faith group, and corporate team who wants to build with us. So how do families actually benefit from our program? Our program is a hand up, not a handout. Each family must invest 500 hours of sweat equity into building their home as their down payment. When I moved in or got selected here, this was my 24th move in 10 years. So then being here, it was like an old book closed and a new book opened, like in that moment. It was like, okay, we're not gonna have to do this anymore. Like this is the last time we're gonna move. And being able to relax, it's like, okay, this is my house, this is my living room, this is my couch, <laughs> these are my walls, like it's, it's surreal. And sitting at the table is such a big deal. Even my son will say, are we sitting at the table? Are we sitting at the table? It's a wonderful feeling, you know, to hear the doorbell ring, to get our mail from a mailbox, to have a back door to a backyard. Kids go out and they're in the yard. It's, it's awesome. And it's those moments that become so profound where these little luxuries of a simple table, that's pretty powerful. Habitat for Humanity is the only builder offering an opportunity, a no interest mortgage that enables families to invest in themselves and continue to pay it forward. They stand shoulder to shoulder with volunteers who give of their time, treasure, and talent, who want to do nothing more for no other reason than just to give back. I think that's such a great opportunity for these family partners and their children to see that, that strangers just collectively appear that want to help. 
It's the very best of humanity. I mean, I had people from the UK, from Africa, from Weymouth, like from everywhere work on this house. And all the beams in the house, you know, they have everybody sign it. So it's like you're kind of, the, the idea is that you're enclosed in blessing and happy thoughts and you know, peaceful wishes and it changes you. It changes your heart. It helps restore, I think, hope. I'll always give to Habitat. I'll always be there to help somebody else because knowing how much I struggled and how unhappy my soul was, to see somebody get a home and, and to brighten their soul, that's what this did for my family. It's what keeps me fueled to keep going out and, and asking and trying to coordinate the resources and the financial means we need to keep that cycle moving forward. After 30 years of service to the 35 cities and towns we're supporting and working to make a difference in, we're getting ready to launch what I'll call a housing revolution through our ReStore, we'll be able to take donated goods that have come from manufacturers in and out around Massachusetts, but also from homeowners. We'll be able to take that stuff, turn it into cash, and reinvest back into the community and provide jobs that are needed for, for people all over the Commonwealth. We have over a thousand ReStores in the United States and they're growing. We don't want just one ReStore. We want three or four ReStores because the more things that we can do to raise to get more land and raise more money, the more families that we can help. We are the only nonprofit developer out there doing what we're doing, and it's critical. But we can't do it without our individuals, our volunteers, the families in which we're serving, but that larger community that is saying right now, we need to make a difference. We need to invest in our communities where we work. We need to have a future where children are becoming our future leaders, that they are the ones that generation after generation can say, we are proud to live here in this community and look at the housing stock. Habitat's gonna make that difference, but we can only do it if you're part of us.